Okay, we'll study about the muscles of the hind limb. Uh, this is the lateral aspect of the hind limb. Okay, so first coming to this is this triangular muscle is called tensor fascia lata. It helps in the uh, contraction of the uh, skin of the hind limb. This is the tensor fascia lata. Now uh, this is the gluteo biceps. So this muscle is a combination of gluteus and biceps femoris. Only in cattle, uh, both gluteus and biceps femoris are combined, forming gluteo biceps. Till here. Then on reflecting gluteo biceps and tensor fascia lata, we will find middle gluteus. So this thick muscle is called middle gluteus. On reflecting middle gluteus, we will find this is the gluteus accessorius and this is the this triangular uh, fan shaped muscle is called as deep gluteus. Okay. Now this this uh, the um, dorsal aspect of the uh, hind limb, we will find quadriceps femoris. Now quadriceps femoris is made up of four parts. Uh, this is the <coughs> vastus lateralis. On reflecting vastus lateralis, we will find rectus femoris. And uh, in, 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 in between these two muscles, uh, on the deeper aspect we will find vastus. So this is the vastus intermedius, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis. Okay. Okay. On reflecting the uh, bicep, gluteo biceps, so this is the sciatic nerve. Okay. Behind the or uh, uh, caudal to the sciatic, sciatic nerve, we will find this this small muscle. This this muscle is called as the gemellus. Okay. This muscle is called gemellus. Next below gemellus, we will find the tendon of the obturator externus, quadratus femoris. So this is the quadratus femoris. <coughs> and uh, this muscle is the gastrocnemius. So gastrocnemius will have the lateral head and the medial head. This entire thing is the lateral head of the uh, gastrocnemius muscle. And the small muscle is called as the soleus. Okay, we'll start with the uh, medial aspect of the hind limb. Uh, before coming to the muscles, we'll go with the muscles of the sublumbar region. Okay. So just beneath the uh, lumbar vertebrae, we'll find this muscle is called as the quadratus lumborum, okay, which helps in the uh, arching back. Okay. Now this muscle, medial most muscle is the psoas minor. Okay, this muscle is the psoas minor. Uh, lateral to the psoas ma minor will find psoas major. The center muscle is called psoas major. And lateral to it will is the iliacus. Both iliacus and psoas major will form a common tendon uh, forming the iliopsoas. Okay, we will study about the muscles of the medial aspect of the hind limb. So the first layer muscles first, uh, are these two. That is, this is the sartorius. Sartorius has two two origins, okay, two head and uh, insertion is this point. So Sartorius and the this is the gracilius. Okay, on reflecting these two muscles, that is the first layer muscle, we will find the second layer muscles, which is the pectineus. So this is the pectineus muscle, this is the pectineus adductor, and this is the semi membranosus. Uh, this is the semi tendinosus muscle. Okay, on reflecting the uh, semi membranosus, we will find the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle. Okay, the, uh, the, the medial aspect of the hind limb forms a canal, which is called as a femoral canal. So, femoral canal, um, the dorsal part of the femoral canal is formed by the sartorius. So the ventral part uh, is formed by the pectineus muscle, dorsal, ventral, and the lateral part is formed by the uh, vastus medialis. And the lateral part is formed by the gracilius. gracilius. Sorry, the uh, medial head is medial part of the uh, femoral canal is formed by the uh, gracilius. Okay. Medial is gracilius, lateral is uh, vastus medialis, the dorsal is the sartorius, and the ventral is the pectineus muscle. Okay. Now we'll uh, study about the contents of the femoral canal. <coughs> so the femoral can, uh, canal contains five parts, namely. This is the this is the nerve, uh, saphenous nerve. This is this femoral artery, giving in the midway it gives branch called as the saphenous artery. So both femoral artery and saphenous artery will will uh, run down the femoral canal. This is the vein called as the femoral vein, and this is the saphenous vein. So saphenous vein will drain blood and form the femoral vein. Saphenous vein, femoral vein, saphenous artery, femoral artery, and saphenous nerve. We will study about the extensors of the hind limb. Uh, coming to the extensors, this is the first muscle called as tibialis cranialis. And this is the complexus. It has three muscles, which is peroneus tertius, 
this is medial distal flexion sir this is the medial distal flexion sir and the lateral common distal flexion sir so complex has three muscles the next muscle is peroneus longus this one this triangular muscle is peroneus longus and next is the lateral digit flexion sir it is going to the lateral hind lateral digit chat okay, we will study about the flexors of the hind limbs so this is the superficial digital flexor uh, it, it passes down on the uh, plantar aspect and will give two slips other tuber tuber calces for uh, stabilization so this is a superficial digital flexor and the deep digital flexor has three heads uh, the superficial head deep head and the medial head so this is the uh, medial head of the deep digital flexor this is a superficial head and this is a deep head and this is the popliteus muscle on the medial aspect of the tibia and this is a gastrocnemius which has the middle head and the lateral head okay now the tendon of achilles is formed by three muscles which is superficial digital flexor the two head of the the tendon of achilles is formed by three muscles that is uh, the gastrocnemius that is the middle head and the lateral head along with uh, soleus so these three are also called as uh, triceps surae which forms the tendon of achilles